What's going on guys? My name is Kazzy and today we're going to be taking Carpig, who is one of the best NHL 23 players out there and turning him into a slap shot pro. Oh, yes! Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. What a play. How are you? Good, you? Good, good man. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you too. So, are you okay. playing on a controller? Uh, keyboard and mouse. Do you prefer a controller? Um, I don't think so cuz okay. I usually play like COD or Fortnite on keyboard and mouse. Okay, okay. Because this game is actually better on controller. If you're brand new and you don't have any real experience, controller is better. Okay, so let's go into settings real quick. Okay. Then general. Yep. You see the turn ping on? Yeah. Okay, cool. Turn that and FPS on. And then the other thing I'd maybe change for you is under HUD, there's a stamina and dizziness scale. And then stamina, dizziness offset. You can kind of like move that bar. Um, mm -hmm. That bar is pretty important. I make mine a little bit bigger and a little bit higher just so I can see it. So it's not the very bottom of your screen. Okay. Um, and then let's hop into camera settings. Let me give you mine. So top to bottom, it should be 90, 27.6. Angle should be 47.3. And then offset should be negative 34.3. Okay, I got it. Okay, and then camera smoothing off. And then mm -hmm. click that little reset zoom button. All right. And then let's go over to video, a couple more. Let's make sure you're in full screen, uh, resolution correct. V-Sync, make sure that's off. Okay. Uh, frame limit, change that to unlimited. All right. Shadows, I do none. Um, and then all the bottom boxes, check all those off. Okay. Sweet. All right. Let me see. Let me just get a. Let me get a feel for what you got. Let's let's see how much oh. control do you have. Like, oh, can you shit. skate no, with no the puck controls. at all? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, let's see, let's see your best attempt of moving with the puck. Okay. This is all I got. Okay. Okay. So you can at least carry it. All right. All right. Yeah. That's the start. Okay. So. Actually, before we even get into carrying the puck, we need to get your sensitivity figured out. Uh, what's your sensitivity at under general? Um, your mouse sense. Should be the very first 16. one. 16. Okay. So what I want you to do is basically holding still. If you were to do like a full mouse swipe on your mouse pad. So basically as if you're doing like a 180 <laughs> in another game, you want that swipe to do a full 360 in this game. So like see how my mouse is or my sticks laying in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Try and do just one swipe going the same direction over and over again and you want it to land in the same spot so if you do one like just a comfortable like if you're playing call of duty and you want to just quickly flip around do that same mouse movement and that should do a full 360 so if it doesn't do it if it's not doing enough you need to turn it up if it's doing too much then then turn it down uh, maybe a little bit higher okay once your sensitivity is like tuned in okay then uh you'll have much better control versus if you're if you're playing too high or too low yeah i just want to make sure we get this right for you because if we don't everything else i'm going to show you is going to be like really really hard which is going to be hard already, but it's going to be extra it's hard. Very difficult. <laughs> it makes it fun, though. Yeah, exactly. Okay. First thing I want to show you is mm. how to get the puck in the pocket. So the pocket is basically this pinch between the stick and your body. So like this, and it's only on the backhand. So this is the pocket right here. So it's like kind of touching my okay. body and my stick. That's the easiest place to keep it in, which it's not very easy, but you're just going to try and basically do a circle like this. So before you even touch the puck, let's have you stand on this blue line. And you're going to basically just go around in a circle on the blue line. Just try and do it with your body first. Don't even worry about your stick. Perfect. All right. And then try and keep your stick on the blue line, like pointing the direction you're headed. This is okay. kind of the motion you're going to have to do to keep the puck in that pocket. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad at all. Yep. So you want to try to move your mouse at a, just at a consistent speed. Because if you like jerk with it at all, you're going to lose the puck. <laughs> I need more desk space. You do a lot of like just one 360, like a lot of spins. This needs to be a comfortable motion for you. So if it's not, you may even need to go higher. Come here, Puck. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, you had it. You had it. You had it. An eighth of a turn. Oh my God, this is so difficult. <laughs> That's the thing, dude. People see my videos and they're like, oh, dude, like I'm going to go sauce in this game. I'm like, bro, it's, it's not as easy as it's it looks. It's a huge learning curve. Yeah, it is. Chell, you can at least skate like right. Easily. The the puck's kind of like with you, yeah. But this is physics based, so right, right, completely different. Oh my god! <laughs> Shoot! So that's the most basic thing you can do in this game, believe it or not. Oh baby! Um, yeah, yeah. So after that, the next easiest would be would be this move. So you've got it on your forehand here. You're just gonna mm -hmm. hold down just the A key. Then you're gonna raise your stick and and uh, let it go underneath. And then oh, so break. Like back and forth. Exactly. So, but all you're doing is A and A and D. If you start using your other keys, you're gonna start like throwing yourself off. So just A to the side, up, down, and then break to stop. 
So just over back and forth. And actually, I guess you will have to use the other keys a little bit, but you want to ideally mainly be using, you know, your, your side to side buttons. Right okay. Now. Yep. So you get the stick rays down. Nice. So then start going to this way. Nice. And then stick rays. Perfect. Oh, just one click. Oh, no. There you go. Stop. Perfect. Yep. Break. And then start going back. Nice. Stick rays. Break. There you go. So that's like the most simple deke you can possibly do. Just going back and forth with it. Oh my. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I see you. So you're starting to, you're actually better at it at that angle. That's actually like kind of a harder angle to be honest. Versus just going side to side. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> but no, that that's actually not bad at all. That's more than most people get on their first day. I feel like it's so hard. Like trying to figure out when to stop and stuff like that. Yeah. So breaking, like I'd suggest not breaking a whole lot as you're new. Um, Cause a lot of times you're just going to throw off your own momentum and, and like end up playing yourself with it. Um, mm -hmm. The main times you're going to break is if you're trying to go against your momentum. So like if I'm going forward, like towards you uh, and yeah. I want to go back where I just came from, instead of just like going over here and then dashing back, I would actually use my break right here and then go just like in real hockey. Like you're not going to just take off the other direction. You're going to, you're going to hit a hockey stop first and then you're going to dash. Let's actually work on that real quick. So I have a little drill for uh, working on your dashing and breaking. So come over here to this blue line and then hit your break on it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to dash, uh, I guess, forward for you, and we're going to break on the red line. So okay. uh, I think your dash is now on your on your mouse. So dash yeah. and try to stop right on the line. Does dash just go even without touching W? Uh, you'll have to hold W too. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then we're going to dash back and freeze. And try and land perfectly on that line. Nice. All right, and this time, yep, yeah, I was going to say this time go there, break and back, and like try to do it quickly. Okay. To try to like break and then go immediately. You want that, that dash to follow that break as soon after as you possibly can. Okay, so just minimizing the amount of time between breaking and dashing. Exactly, exactly. Nice, yep, there you go. So the next easiest thing, let me give you another circle one. So on this, on this line, go ahead and go counterclockwise. And I oh. want you to try to point the tip of your stick at the puck in the middle. Okay. You see, I'm kind of pointed at the center. How often are you picking up your mouse to reset? Uh, when I'm doing these circles, I'm not at all. Whoa. You had it. You're almost there. Try and oh keep my it God. Try keep so it difficult. There you go. <laughs> so you're struggling when you get to like this part. Keep it pointed. Keep it pointed. There you go. Dude, my, oh my so God. I'm here's like the thing. Listen, listen, listen. If you play on a controller, it, your stick is your joystick. So like your joystick's a circle, right? So like wherever you're pointing that joystick is where your where your stick points let me plug this thing in it, it makes so much more sense i just have never been able to make the transition so how many esports people play that controller versus uh controller? majority wow probably like 70 80 percent at this point most players most like either even like top tier keyboard players are trying to switch to controller just because it has it has advantages it's mainly like the movement so like dashing is the main thing um, so like with a, with a keyboard, you can only dash eight different directions, but a controller, you can dash like any degree. So like if, if the puck's, you know, 45 degrees to my left, like I can dash straight to it. Cool. Um, but if it's 50 degrees to my left, well, I can only dash at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna have to like make a little correction there after I dash. Controller's just more efficient. It's kind of like Rocket League, like how there's like, yeah, most like nobody's like playing controller. Rocket League on, on mouse and keyboard any, anymore. Yeah. You know what my controller sense should be on? A hundred. 100 yeah yeah you want to keep that one at 100 so the main thing with controller for your your right joystick you've got to keep that joystick on the outer rim of your controller okay mm. i think yeah i probably have a better time with controller okay uh, so in that case though let me give you the way easier let me i'm going to shoot you a discord message with the best uh key binds for controller because the default kind of suck you basically want to have like your dash you want to have all your important binds on your like triggers when you usually are like teaching newbies, do you tell them just to go straight to controller? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, wait. So, park lift, left bumper. Yeah, that's like your your stick tilt. That's how you shoot it. Oh, that's for like wrist shots, like to raise the puck. Exactly. Yeah. Anytime you want the puck off the ground, you get to hold that button as you're hitting it. So you can change if if you're more comfortable with with changing any of those buttons that are on your triggers, as long as they're on triggers. It doesn't really matter which ones they're on as long as they're on a trigger because those are going to be your most most used binds okay so you're already looking a little bit better you have to just try to rotate that stick a little bit faster there you go yep perfect 
Nice. You're, it's so you get the hang of it. It feels like it's so fast. It is. <laughs> it's, it's like it's all just really the control, like. There you go. A little bit faster. So you just want to basically move your your both of your sticks kind of in a circle. There are slightly different paces. There you go. Okay. They, what clicked? Something just clicked. Um, just like rotating my stick faster. Like yeah, you said. that's little, that's perfect. Okay, heck yeah. That's 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 crazy improvement. Okay, so now let's try to do that same thing. Let's go. To, we're gonna go counterclockwise though. Also keeping on your back end. I find this easier than that actually. So it's gonna look like this now, going this way. Oh, uh, okay. Really, it's easier that way. I find it easier personally, but it may just be me. So it's the exact same motion. You're gonna move the stick at the exact same pace. Oh my god! Wait, that looks. It just takes a second. Yeah, it just takes yeah. a second to get down. Please. Okay, what's like the best strat? When it's so, on the wall like this, because I do beat. Yeah. What's the best strat? So you just gotta kind of like get in there and like peel it out. Okay. Um, because yeah, that's a big thing for beginners, is getting it off the boards because it's gonna be on the boards a lot. The main things you want to be careful of is you don't want to hit your stick on the board. So like if you go in to like get your stick in there and like you bounce yourself like this, uh, okay. like that's what you want to be careful of. So you just got to kind of like go in the same like level flat with the wall without hitting yourself and just scoop it off. Give that a try. There you go. That was pretty good. Nice. No, you almost rotate. had it. You almost had it. We'll get you back to the center. Just Thanks. keep that consistent pace. Maybe rotating that right stick a little bit faster. There you go. There you go. Nice. It's weird. Okay, it's so weird to like have my brain figure out like rotating the stick faster makes more control. Yeah, and there are different paces too. Like your left stick's gonna be at a different pace than your right stick. You're going in circles with both of them. Yeah. But it's just slightly different. Sweet. All right, cool. So that's that's that. Yeah, you're already looking way better on controller. Um, so now let's try that other one we did. Uh, where you're just going side to side. So just carry it to the side, lift over, nice, and then break. And then break, and then go oh, back. Break. Okay, I gotta implement that, yeah. Mm. So you wouldn't necessarily always break. Nice. See, like, if you can get that stick raise over and break, like, and, dude, what the? You're you're a whole different person on controller. You're going <laughs> no, seriously, crazy. Oh, my God, I'm so glad that you, like, Yeah, that I forced you to make the change. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the next thing from that, the step up from that is the behind the back. So instead of like raising your stick and going over like this, you're going to go forward and you're just going to bring it behind your body and then break with it over here. So it's going to look like this. This is a controller move, actually. Does that make sense, what we're doing? Yes. Just trying to figure out mechanically in my head. Yeah, yeah, how it's going to look like. So I'm basically going to have the puck like this. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Push forward. And then, and then... Yep, nice. And so you just want to finish with your stick pointing like perfectly straight. Because if it's at an angle, it's going to kind of pop off. Funny. Nice. Nice, yeah. So, and then once Whoa. you're ready, the next step to both of these moves actually would just be to add a dash. So as soon as you start going to the side, dash, break, dash, stop and break, dash, stop and break. So, oh like, my god, dude. It's like I'm relearning so much stuff you right wanna, now. Yeah. <laughs> But dude, you're already learning like at a, such a quicker pace. Okay, so dash would be RB. Okay. Well, oh. no. Didn't so that's that. what happens Actually. when your stick is not on the edge. Oh, so that's why you're saying keep my stick on the edge. Yeah, exactly. So if you like, if you let it off the edge and then you put it back on the edge, it's going to like snap to wherever you are. And most of the time yeah. it'll like, it's going to like do that little flick and knock the puck away. So if you're ever in a position okay. where like you happen to like move it off the edge by accident, just raise your stick up and then get it back on the edge. That way when it snaps back in place, you're not going to smack the puck. Like uh, you can okay. basically snap your stick anywhere you want without like affecting the puck. Okay, so stick lift is this. So basically the movement. Let me do it without the puck real quick. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be. Ah, oh my god, <laughs> dude, it's like trying to train my brain. So don't, even worry, so... don't even worry about the dashes if you're not there yet. The dashes are something you can add in later, and like you can do it slow. Once you get to your stop spot, just like stop and think. Okay, then I'm gonna dash, lift, let go, and break. Yeah, there's a lot of controls. Yeah. I like the sound design in this game. The posts sound yeah, yeah. way better. No, that's for sure. Yeah, you think so? That's funny. I think so. Almost. Oh, I think if I spend a lot of time just like in free skate, literally, just like that's, that's exactly. People always ask, "How do you get better?" And it's straight up like going into free skate, um, and then people often plateau, and it's it's just like any sport. Like you got to go into your practice like with a purpose. So if you're just going into free skate, like to get the basics down, cool, great. But once you've got the basics down, you've got to kind of like 
go in there and not just you know do random crap like you gotta actually like try to like learn set moves or whatever and just like do it over and over again until you hit it okay 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 i see you deacon up over here so um that's the that's the fundamental that's the super basics one thing that you can do that's going to be a little bit harder everything's going to be a little bit harder um instead of just keeping your stick like exactly still and just lifting over you kind of want to start to like kind of turn with it and then arch so like you're kind of like arching it it actually makes that stick okay. raise a little bit easier so like you're starting to do like a half turn and then you're stick raising over and i'm just breaking at the end so i'm like snapping and breaking when you're stick raising on stuff like that you're really just like clicking it and like trying to snap your stick to the other side like you're not really holding your stick raise button anymore so yeah that's actually another kind of drill is there you go that's the, you're looking good all right you ready to shoot oh i guess i guess that answered that question i'm so shooting your main key is in your dash it's literally like real hockey as far as like release and whatnot goes you want to be holding down your tilt stick button and you're going to dash into your shot if you don't dash into it it's not going to go very hard and it's kind of actually hard to aim. So you want to kind of okay. dash as you're shooting. It's kind of like you're like the step in hockey. So just go ahead and like try and get it on your forehand. Just come forward and then just throw it off the wall like that. Nice. Almost. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh my god. All good. <laughs> and then just dash right into that. Nice. I got to dash into it. So and then not everybody does this and it just kind of is situational sort of. But I pretty much break after I shoot every shot. And the reason just so that I don't like continue going towards my shot. So I'll like, I'll dash, shoot, and then break afterwards so that my character doesn't continue. You see, I'm just like stopping right after. Yeah, I see that. That way, just, it's just like more controlled movement. Not bad, not bad. You know, like for slap shot, do esports players play with like two fingers, like one on They do. And... Most of them do play play like that. Some people I've seen don't. And they just use the one and they shift it. But most people use like the, I think it's claw. I don't know if it's called claw or not, but I claw. most of them use both fingers. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Should hold that uh, tilt stick. Almost. I don't know if you're holding. The... So like as soon as the puck's on your, so like right here, I'd start hold. There you go. Yep. Start holding your, uh -huh. your stick tilt like the whole time. You don't have to like click it the last second. You want to hold it the whole time. There you go. Okay. You want to try the back end? Yeah, sure. So same exact thing, just coming the other wall, and you're just kind of hitting a half flick. There you go, yeah. Oops. That was a good pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was just passing <laughs> all of the thing. That just reminded me. Yeah. So passing oh, and shooting no. are kind of similar. Obviously, you're just not holding your stick tilt, and you're just kind of like flicking that thing. And then the best place to catch it is either just on your forehand, just like this, or in the actual pocket. So trying to catch it on the pocket. And you want it to make contact with your stick first if you can. But there will be times where it's going to make contact with your body first. It's just your body's kind of unpredictable. It's going to like take a weird bounce sometimes. And most passes um, by like good players just like tape to tape. Uh, sometimes they can be for sure. Not always. But uh, in the pro league, yeah. All right. So how do we Michigan? Dude, so the Michigan. Check me out. Check me out. Ready? So the closest you can get is popping it up here, bouncing it over, and then pulling it in oh, and having one. That's unreal. Oh, bro. There we go. That's the, that's the closest you can get to the Michigan in this that's game. That's disgusting. Um, and I've, I've never hit that in a game. I've been actually trying recently. Have um, you seen someone attempt it or like anything uh, like that? I attempt it all the time. Like literally anytime oh, okay. I'm in that corner, I'll, I'll attempt it <laughs> nowadays. But most <laughs> of the time, the second you do it, somebody just comes up and just smacks you. I haven't even showed you bumping yet. Bumping. Bumping is one of the most important things in this game. As I'm actually like getting to play some more hockey in real life now for the first time, I'm realizing how much this game actually simulates hockey with just like the checking and like the, the stick battles basically. Because a lot of what you're doing is going to be like battling for the puck. So go ahead and come, come take this from me. So a lot of it's going to be like stuff like this. Exactly. So main keys on bumping is, is you got to hit your brake button. You can hold it if like you're getting constant pressure. But uh, if you hold your brake, you're very, very slow. So like if you need to like make a bump and then go for the puck, you really just kind of want to tap it as you're making contact with the player. And to bump them, you're either just hitting them like one little flick like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you can do like a full spin. And a lot of times a full spin is going to be stronger. 
Um, it's just kind of situational. You can also incorporate dashes. You just don't really want to waste all your dashes. But like if you dash into a bump, it's going to be even stronger. Yeah, do it on, do it on me real quick. Dash into me. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's like the payoff for it's, dashing. Is right. Like worth it, it. It's it's like if, if you're not anywhere close to playing the puck, it, it can be worth. The other thing it's used for is like if you want to get a different da uh, different bump on somebody. So like if I want to bump you like downwards and like use you as a boost and like we're at the same point, I'll like mm -hmm. dash this way, push off of you. And so it's almost so like I'm using double. Exactly. So like, that's crazy. Yeah, it's 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 pretty wild. And what people will do sometimes though, is like if I know, so come, come try to hit me real quick. If I know you're going for a bump, just come smack me. I'll dodge yours and then hit you. Does your stick on my stick pause have like yes. a Yes. So box? yeah. So that's hitting your stick is actually one of the better way of bumping. Uh, there's, there's two ways of doing it. Either you're going to, you're going to aim for the player's stick. That's actually like one of the stronger ways and you have a little more reach for it. So like if we're in a situation like this and we're headed towards the puck right now, you have the upper hand on me, right? Because your stick's in front of mine. In real hockey, you would go over this person's stick and try and push on them. Instead of doing that, I'm going to actually go the opposite way. So see how I just like did a little spin? So you're in front of me. Never mind. Oh. So like I'm in front of you here. So instead of raising your stick over mine, just go do like a back. Exactly. There you go. So oh. like just stuff like that, like IQ of realizing that it's like hockey, but at the same time, you're a circle and you can spin either direction. Okay. Yeah. So two ways of bumping are either aiming for the stick. Um, or aiming for the body. So like if the puck's in the equation like this, like if you're trying to grab this, I don't yeah. want to hit the puck. So I'm going to raise my stick up in the air and I can hit your stick uh, when mine's in, is yours down? Yeah. I can hit your stick yep. when mine's in the air or I can hit your body. But anytime the puck's near, I'm going to be raising and hitting just so that I'm not affecting the puck. Okay. So let's uh, let's do a little sumo here. So we get this, we get this blue circle and your goal is to get me out of this blue circle. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice. Oh, but you're out. So if you get pushed, <laughs> you also want to use your break button so that you don't go flying. So oh, if I yeah, do yeah. land a good hit on you and you're not already holding break. So you don't want to hold break the whole time again because like it's just unrealistic. You wouldn't always be able to hold break in game. Um, mm -hmm. But you want to like press it either bracing for a bump. It's kind of like lowering your shoulder, bracing for a bump. Or if you're not holding it and I do hit you, like you just want to try to press it as soon as you can. So it's pretty hard to move somebody who's breaking. Like who's holding it? Yeah, I see that. Like that's about as far as you can hit somebody. But yeah, that's bumping. So the main thing with bumping is you just gotta recognize it's it's all IQ in knowing when to bump and like where to bump. So like again, if we're if we're chasing this puck right here, I don't want to push you this way because I'm gonna be pushing you towards the puck. I mm -hmm. want to be pushing you this but, way, oh, yeah. so I'm pushing myself towards it and yourself away from it. So mm. it's recognizing like where my stick's at, where the best position is to knock me away from the puck exactly exactly and again if your stick's not in the equation or a lot of pros they'll be just spinning constantly like this like i'll just be doing this when i'm going and that's so you don't know where i'm gonna put my stick down so you can't prep for it anytime you're within pushing range of another player you should push them literally 100 percent of the time but you don't always want to use your dash or your break when you're doing it anytime you're in a still bump like like we're bumping here you're gonna be breaking every time but like if we're both chasing for the puck now so go ahead and chase for it because we're moving if i break I'm going to kill my momentum. Like I would just hit a spin on you like that. Okay. And then once it's still here and we're fighting of it, now I'm breaking because the puck's nearby. It's just like close range, close Exactly. Quarters. And then bumping on the boards is really key. So a lot of times people are going to be doing stuff like this. And to get me off of this, if you're hitting me, it's going to be pretty useless. You have to peel me off. Is oh. this kind of cheese? <laughs> uh, it's pretty easy to defend against, but there's nice. So you got your stick in behind mine. Go ahead and come in from like behind me and, and peel my body off too. So you just kind of want to use your leverage, exactly. You're going to see this a lot. And they're, they're going to do this on you. Go ahead, and, go ahead and take it from me whenever. This is kind of, this is kind of cheap. It's really yeah, annoying. Bro. And the good players are really good at defending this. This is like me literally trying my hardest. <laughs> yeah, so the other thing is like when you're on the boards with it pinned, basically what I can do here is I can use my my leverage like I the boards are on my back right so you can't push me back any further but if I push you I have the power of the wall behind me uh, it's okay. perfect like see how my back's pinned to the boards you cannot push me really um, that makes sense so you really just got to try to work on coming in at an angle and like trying to get your stick almost level with the boards and peeling out and there again I'm raising my stick there that way I can hit your body off of the stick or off the puck without also 
affecting the puck. Damn, uh, bro. Go ahead and it, there's there's levels to this game, man. Go ahead and try and pin it there. Yeah. So like, see see how I'm peeling you there, and then yeah. if that happens, just hit your break. Like the second. That? So get back on there. Yep. So to counter that, you would try to hit me before I hit you. So when I'm going in, exactly. Yeah. So when I'm going in to hit you or to peel you, you'd want to just smack me. So if I'm coming in from this side, like right here, Let's yep. Just that. smack my stick. Exactly. Wait, what if I put my dash on L3? So that's, that's the, the one you don't want to do. And it's because it, it actually throws off your movement. I just know that's what every pro says. Never do that. I don't really quite get it, but I just know that at higher levels of play it's not as precise i think that's pretty oh, much the fundamentals you're looking good that's pretty much the fundamentals the only thing we haven't really worked on is shooting on the net heck yeah dude look at you look at you go so like can i get a smaller radius and is that like yeah yeah better? So... <laughs> bro some guys are crazy with it i'm actually not even that good um at this like but yeah, like being able to do it that small is great. Like you can also like fake shots that way um, by doing that exact move. Like fake a backhand, pull it to the forehand. Are there any designated positions? There are. So that's that's to me what makes the game so fun is the positioning in it. So the the positions for like pro league is it goes by number. So you've got your your one is like your striker, your forward. So they're obviously up top trying to score. When you're in the offensive zone, most of the time they're gonna be like down low. And their job is kind of hit a wrap when they can, dish it out to your other two guys, and they're going to take shots, and you're just going to kind of grab the rebounds and do what you can with it. Either try to center it or hit a pass, you know, hit a wrap, whatever. Um, your two is like your middleman, so they're they're kind of like your midfielder, and then your three is your defenseman. So most pro leagues uh, games are going to all look the same. The, the three will be behind the net starting off here. He's going to try and like kind of juke the guy uh, the opposite team's striker or forward um, mm -hmm. and just create separation. So he's just going to kind of be going like back and forth like this until he finds a pass either up this sideline or he's going to take it and hit it up the other sideline. But the thing is they kind of like rotate. So like your three like is mainly your your person that's back. But like if your three goes up, then your two has to drop back and or whoever's closest. So you kind of just rotate based on like everybody knows the standard positions. You have your like starter spot when you can get reset. You'll try to get back to like your designated spot. But like you just kind of improvise based on who's where. So it's something that comes with with practice, but it's really pretty pretty simple. Let's go ahead and have you take try and try and score on me here. I'll, I'll let you let you play some offense here. So if you want to work on, um, uh, you can kind of work on like doing like the deke stuff that you've been doing, and then trying to like pull that into a shot. A still shot's gonna be okay. kind of un uncommon. So just try to maybe like move with it and shoot it near the blue line. Like here, yeah, get on your forehand and rip one. Nice. Yeah, that's good though. Your follow through first shot can either be finished pointing at the net. Um, at your target or you can do a full 360 so like a lot of times i'll like do one of these okay. but ultimately like the where the stick is or where the puck is like rolling off of your stick wherever that end position obviously is where it's gonna where it's gonna point and don't forget that oh dash my. too. try and dash you want to dash at the target Ooh, oh there you go that was a good one see for most of high school it was like mid distance stuff nice there you go this is okay. cool that was a good shot so like being goalie is another one hard one. If you want to try it, I'll send you some some yeah. easy shots. You want to break in front of the shot. So you got to get your body in front of it and then use your break button. If you're not breaking, what's going to happen is they're going to crash the net. And because there's no goaltender interference, you're going to catch one off the dome and they're just going to get, they're going to just come and sack you into the net. Um, if it's up in the air, you can raise your stick. You can block it out of the air, but it's best just to get your body in front. Um, okay. Like sometimes you'll have to dash to it, but the main thing is you got to dash and stop at the right time. It's really easy to like over dash it. Nice. So the main thing too in pubs, whatever you do, do not play goalie. Uh, there should never be a goalie. Um, at least not an all-time goalie. I should I should rephrase that. Um, yeah. If the other team has, block at least. Yeah. If somebody has the uh, the the puck like where I'm at, yes, somebody mm -hmm. should be covering the net. Um, but if they're just sitting in the net when you're on offense too, like you're just screwing your team. But now <laughs> now have been my uh. Defend my Michigan attempt. Oh, God. Oh, the post. There's the Michigan on the Michigan master. But yeah, if you want to queue some some online games, definitely uh, play till we win. See if we can get a dub. Yeah, sure. Let's it. go. Let's do it. 